hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to convert uh, video mp4 video to uh, gif gif animation with custom time and speed inside uh, ffmpg library inside we will be implementing this process inside node.js so i will be showing you this uh, example here so basically this is just this uh, 19 lines of code which is required to do this process so here you can set the starting time which starting time you want to do it and you can also set the duration how many seconds you want the gif image to be rendered and then you can also provide the size as well this, this is just the resolution so if you increase the resolution full HD at resolution 1280 into 720 and also you can provide custom FV, FV, uh, FPS value as well which is which will control the speed of the gif animation so all these parameters you can control here and then at the last it will create this gif animation using ffmpg it will store it inside thumbnails folder so you need to create this thumbnail folder before you run the script so just create this thumbnail folder and after this guys you need to copy paste the input video so whichever video you want to do this so we can simply rename this to video so this is my input file so I what what I will do is that I will cut this and uh, I will paste it in inside my you will see this uh, here I will paste it my input file here video.mp4 you will see that this is the file that needs to be translated to gif animation so now we will run the script so simply we will simply say note index.js so what will it will do is guys it will make this animation and you can see conversion done so if i check the thumbnail folder you can see it has created this gif animation so this is the gif animation it has created it has detected the start time that i provided in the script and now you can see that it has created this and this is running for five seconds and it is there in 1280 into 720 this is the full hd process and you can also see the size of this GIF animation which has been created 1.18 megabytes so if you open this inside your image viewer you will see that this is the GIF animation here so this is fully constructed using the library that I told you which is FFMPG it's an audio and video processing library it's an open source library which is very much useful for these tasks to be handled which are related to audio and video so this is very simple you can change the speed as well by manipulating the FPS value which is let's suppose you decrease the speed to 20 so it will increase the speed of this GIF animation so if I run this script once again you will see it will create the second animation so now the speed will be very high you will see that the speed is very high because less FPS values are there so that's why you will see there are a lot of the speed is very high so if you want to decrease the speed you can increase the FPS value like this pass 90 as FPS so now if you run the script here it will take longer time to render this GIF animation so you will see this now the speed is lowered you can see the speed of the GIF animation is lower because we increase the value of FPS so with this values guys you can fully control how your gif animation will be rendered on the screen so if you want to increase the speed you can decrease the fps value here if you want to increase uh, decrease the speed you can increase the F fps value so this is indirectly proportional so if you increase the F fps value it will uh, uh, increase the uh, decrease the speed and uh, the most uh, good thing about this is that you can also control the quality as well guys so if you want to have a 720 by 480 you can also have any quality that you want so this will render out 720 into 480 animation so the size will be lower of this gif animation so it will take very few seconds to render out this so you will see that this is dimensions is 720 by 480 so the size is very low but but the quality will be lower here you see that the full sp the full video is not seen here inside this gif animation but inside this 1280 into 720 you will see the quality is looking good because the size is higher
if you check the size here you will see 1.23 megabytes and this is 480 megabytes so if you want to increase the size the quality will also increase so it this is directly proportional and then you can also set the duration guys to 10 seconds you can pass any duration of your choice let's suppose you want to create longer gif animations so you can provide 10 seconds here and this is the most important thing you can provide the starting time as well of the video file let's suppose you want to provide uh, you want to start the animation from uh, uh, let's suppose uh, the first five seconds you can see that so you can also do this also this is very easy so now it has created this gif animation you will see that so now you can see that so this is that much easy guys in order to build out gif animations from uh, mp4 videos so let me just write the script step by step all the source code i have given in the video description if you want to get all the source code regarding this video i have given all the source code in the video description so this is fully available for completely free so just go to the edit option and here you will find out the full source code so simply go to the edit option description of the video and download all the source code so after this guys what you need to do is that you need to install first of all this dependency which is fluent ffmpg so if you just search on google fluent ffmpg we are using this library which is caught 200,000 weekly downloads around 2 lakh so it's a very popular library among uh, node.js developers so basically it's just abstracts all the complexities of the ffmpg library and it provides a very smooth interface for using it inside our node.js applications so the command is very simple just install it by using npm i fluent ffmpg just go to your node.js project and execute this command fluent ffmpg so this will install this library inside your project so after you do this you need to write this code step by step that i am writing here but before that when you are building it for the very first time just before you run the script just make a thumbnail folder so inside this thumbnail folder all your gif files will be uh, recorded so right here guys what we need to do is that you need to first of all require the ffmpg library so you will require it and then you need to require the ffmpg path so the path will be either available locally or you need to require this special library which will automatically install ffmpg for you if you don't have local installation so dot path that's it so automatically this will install this when you execute the application and it will get the path for you and similarly goes for ff probe if you want to use it you just need to require this ff probe library ff probe dash installer ff probe and this will get the path that's it so after this guys what we need to do is we need to get the reference to the fluent ffmpg library so we will require it like this and then we will set the source set the ffmpg path like this we will pass the ffmpg path here which we got in the earlier step and similarly we will set it for ff probe ff probe path so here we will pass ff probe path that's it so now guys we have installed all these dependencies and we have required it now the simple task is remaining we just need to uh, provide we need to convert the video so first of all we will get the video which we need to convert so which is present inside the root directory you will see that video.mp4 which we need to convert so after you get the video reference you need to set the start time this is the function which lets you set the start time from which location you need to render out the gif animation so we will start from the fifth second of the video and what is the duration of the gif animation so here you can pass it inside seconds so this will be comprising of six seconds and then it will ask for the size what is the quality here you can provide the 1280 into 
720 this is full hd and fps so fps value is uh, let, let's suppose i provide 40 so you can customize all these options guys at the earlier video i at the starting of the video i explained you all these options you can control and customize the gif accordingly you can uh, customize the starting time of the gif animation you can set the duration as well size fps all these stuffs and lastly where you need to save this so we will save it inside our thumbnail folder so we will simply say dot slash thumbnail and thumbnail slash and then we will provide a dynamic name to the file date dot now function we will use and then we will concatenate with the, this dot gif that's it that's all that you need to do guys and also there is a on and function which is available so when the process is over this function will execute this callback function so if any sort of error take place if no error take place then we can console log the message that conversion done that's it that's all and if any sort of error take place then we also have a callback for this also so we will simply say we will display the error which has taken place like this that's all guys that you need to run and lastly you need to run this script so we will use the run method that's it so this will automatically run this ffmpg script inside our node.js application so now we can simply run this script here simply go to the command line and just type node index.js so it is saying that ffmpg invalid argument uh, let me see guys what is the process uh, date dot now oh sorry this needs to come So just surround this inside curly brackets here also just put this right here and once again if you run this so now you can see that guys it will create the gif animation and conversion done so if you open your thumbnail folder it has created the gif animation you will see that it has it exactly comprises of six seconds and now it is repeating once it finishes it keeps on repeating endless number of times so this is called as gif animation so you will see that it is that much easy to create it inside our node.js application using fluent ffmpg library you can see the size 1.41 megabytes so the quality is uh, 1280 into 720 so you can also uh, comprise it inside make it a dynamic application just take the input from the user using express you can also install express module as well if you want to if you want to make it a dynamic application just receive the dynamic video from the user so you can install express and download it whenever you finish the processing it's that much easy just pick, pick it out so i have given all the source code in the video description guys and uh, please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video